Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally back. I have no idea why I am the default noob avatar. I still have the dragon on. Just blame Roblox for that. Anyways, RPG Sim has been updated and today we're going to be going over everything that has changed. A couple major, a couple minor. First off, the new max level is 1401. I am quite a ways off, but you know, there is that. And then the max attack stat has been upgraded to 500,000, which is a very, very major change. It was like 115,000 before, I want to say, so it is about five times greater, meaning in theory, you should be able to do a lot, lot more damage thanks to this update. Now, the main thing in this update is the new Endless Boss Raid, which you can do. It is a special raid, and it is right here, Dungeon Endless. However, before we cover that raid, I do want to cover something else. There is a bunch of new crafting items in the crafted shop now. The new items are very interesting. There's three new swords, so we got the True Guardian, we got the Inferno, and we got the Exuberance. And also all of these um, things you see on the screen for drops are actually droppable in game. There's no glitches, no nothing like that. They're all from the new raid. Except the only downside is they are level 1350. So in this video, I cannot show you guys all of them. However, do look out for another video very soon. As soon as I am level 1350, I'm going to cover all three swords. Huge thanks to Zeph for giving me them. Anyways, Inferno, level 1350, it does 3,957,336 damage. If the user's health goes to 0%, they will become a Flame Elemental. And then all damage increased by 300%, and the buff lasts for 30 seconds, and its cooldown is 60 seconds. So with this sword, you get an extra ability, which is something we've never seen before in this game. I cannot wait to try that out. There is also True Guardian. It does 4,500,000 damage. When users under a shield, damage increased by 50%. So it seems like these swords will all have a passive of some kind or an ability to um, buff your damage besides just their flat damage. Then there is also Exuberance. It does 4,005,000 damage, HP regen increased by 5%, additionally provides an attack bonus based on 0.8% of the user's max HP. So Exuberance sounds like the sword is specifically catered towards using the Soul Rune, because if you have more health, you do more damage. Out of all these swords, from what I've heard, the Inferno is the best due to the all damage increase by 300% and the crazy buff and all that stuff, so I cannot wait to try it out myself. But unfortunately, I cannot do that. Now let's get into the new raid. It is known as Dungeon Endless, and it is level requirement 1300. So this raid you also cannot do on hardcore mode, and like I said earlier, it is one of the most unique raids in the whole game, because it is an endless wave defense. So basically what happens is you're going to be fighting a bunch of mobs from previous zones. A lot of them are going to be boss mobs. They're going to keep spawning in every single wave, and you just defeat them all, and then you progress. Sometimes you're going to be getting drops at any of these waves. At wave 20, there was a boss, so I assume every 20 waves there's a boss. I have not played it that much yet. I wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible, so please correct me down below if anything I'm saying is wrong. But overall, it isn't too difficult. Now, I do know that before today, you were able to AFK farm this raid. Unfortunately, you can no longer do that. However, actually manually farming it isn't too bad. So when it comes to gear and content, is this worth farming? Is there new endgame content? The swords I talked about earlier is the new endgame content, so I would say this is a very endgame raid. In terms of difficulty, you could farm this raid right at 1300. You could probably farm it without a Solus, without the best gear in the game. But the main reason why you're farming this is if you're wanting to get stuff to craft things. Stuff for your Rune of Insanity, you got stuff for the Soul Rune, you got stuff for Rune of the Zephyr, you got stuff for all of the new swords, and I'm pretty sure you can even get the stuff to craft the Snow Angel Rune. Overall, I do think this was a pretty good addition to the game for the reason of it adds a lot of crafting, so it adds a lot more stuff for players to make at the end game, And it adds a extra layer of power past just that soulless sword. I do think the new crafting recipes are not ridiculously difficult, are the easy? Definitely not, I'm sure a lot of people are struggling with them, but from what I can tell and my experience so far, is it is that it is a relatively healthy grind, it's pretty fun. And I would say the new raid is definitely a solid addition to the game. Now, at the end of this video here, I am going to talk a little bit of honesty 
And I think this should definitely be one of the last new content uh, additions to RPG Sum because all of us want to see that new game. Everyone wants to see what can come next. So I think this could definitely be the last update in terms of major content that we will see for this game besides maybe patch fixes. Anyways, guys, let me know down below if you enjoyed this video going over everything new in this update. Do check it out. It is a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys want to see a solo RPG some episode of me doing the new raid because, hey, there, there's now something new to do with that solo alt character. So let me know down below if you want to see that. And do stay tuned to my channel for the next few days because I am going to be grinding for level 1350. And as soon as I get it, I'm going to show off all the new swords. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Still no idea why my skin is this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.